In this video, we're going to make these parallax effects. You can create them using any software, but for this demo, I'm using Caden Live. It actually doesn't matter whether you edit on CapCut, After Effects, or anything else, you can still follow along. I'm sure you'll learn a lot from this and even remake it the same or even better in your own software. You're going to need a lot of images for this. First, I added this forest image, and then on top of it, I added the cameraman's image. Using Chroma Key, I removed the green background. I move this effect to the parent image on the project folder so everything stays clean. I like things to be easy to understand and follow. After that, I scaled the cameraman down, placed him on the ground, and flipped him on the x-axis. Next, it was time to add a shadow. Using the title clip feature, I added this black circle under the cameraman. The circle is slightly transparent. If you don't know how to recreate this in your software, the simplest way, which works in pretty much every editor, is to just download a transparent black circle from your browser and scale it down on the y-axis. Simple as F. After adding the shadow, I placed that clip below the main character's track so it stays behind him. I added a box blur to make it look more like a real shadow. Not bad! Finally, it was time to add forest elements. I started with trees. I placed a tree PNG, positioned it properly, duplicated it, and placed another one that's bigger and lower on the y-axis to create the illusion that it's in front. I added shadows to the trees the same way we did for the cameraman. Looks way better already. Let's go! Okay, now it's time to add rocks. Let me just customize the UI so I can think better. Oh wait, why is my cursor not working? Ah, f*** it. As always, it crashed. Alright, let's reopen it. I'm not going to cry about it. Just hit the sub and like button, please. After reopening KD in Live, I added two big rocks that will be at the very front. I placed them above all the tracks because we're going to fill the lower tracks with a lot of elements, and I don't want those elements overlapping the rocks. After putting the rocks above everything, I temporarily disabled the tracks so I could focus on the rest. I added two more rocks. For the green one, I placed it behind the tree, added a shadow for the green rock then for the white one too, and flipped it. I know it doesn't look great, but hopefully we'll fix that in color grading. Then I placed the two rocks below the timeline and disabled them again for good reason. After that, I added this stem, removed the blue background, and positioned it nicely. After troubleshooting the background a bit, yeah, it still doesn't look perfect, it was time to add the leaves. Using rotoscoping, I cut the leaves separately and placed them wherever I wanted. You can use any tool that gets the job done. That leaf is doing a great job hiding that rock. Nice job, buddy. After enabling all the elements again, I increased their duration by plus 5 seconds, making the total 10 seconds. Then it was finally time to animate everything. Hey guys, since I'm getting into freelancing for video editing, I'm starting by offering free video editing services to a limited number of clients. If you're interested, just contact me through any of these methods. Portfolio link is in the description. Now, back to the video. I started animating and honestly, there's no rocket science here. Just remember one formula for the parallax effect. If you are zooming in, like I'm doing here to focus on the cameraman, you scale things up. If you're zooming out, scale things down. Objects in front should scale up more and move more. Objects that are farther away should scale up the least and move very little. Move each element so it goes slightly out of view. All this works because of one thing, parallax. The closer the object is to the camera, the more it moves. The farther it is, the less it moves. I hope you're enough good observer to understand this. While animating, I left the trees slightly visible because it looks nicer, right? After some final troubleshooting, this is what we ended up with. I know the rocks and a few forest elements feel kinda wasted, but okay, maybe those little details matter. After that, I blurred the elements in front to give a better 3D sense and make the focus go toward the cameraman. At this point, 90% of the work is done. Now it's time for color grading, which you can see happening here. My main goal was to make everything blend together, not just turn the whole scene green and shiny. Finally, I rendered it, and boom! The effect is done! So, that's how you made this effect. I hope this video was at least a little helpful. If it was, like and sub. And if you don't want these tutorials and me to suddenly stop, I'd really appreciate it if you could fund me using this QR code. Because this burning potato PC can blast any time. So yeah, please, 
You can only fund via an Indian bank account because of some classic RBI rules. If you can't donate because of currency barriers, check if Super Thanks is available. And if it is, thank you so much. I genuinely can't express that feeling with words and this silly AI dub. Thank you again. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Keep cooking!